Hello friends, I'm Angie. I'm Michelle. My little V were dancing in the video. <laughs> we're Blue <laughs> Heavens. We wanted to talk to you guys today about our readings that we do. We kind of have a lot, we have a lot of people that do come to us for readings. We also get a lot of cancellations yeah. because people don't know what to expect. Right. And there's a lot of fear and worry. What's going to come out? What right. are they going to know? So we wanted to put you at ease so you know what you could expect with a reading with us. So that is what this video is all about. Let's dig into it. <laughs> all right. So if you come to us for a reading, and we can do it in person. We like to do it outside at a park. Because it's easier for us to channel spirit this way. And we can get, uh, the energy is just so much better. It is. It just, and that, and, and we can, and, in, and being in the presence of the other person wanting the reading. Yes. And that, but what we do is kind of unique as well. Yeah. Is we write down before we even see you. What right. You hear what the, your channel, your guides have to say or any loved ones coming through. And that and even if you cancel, they they will still come through yes. and they will still give us messages. We still connect to your energy and pull yes. that information. And we have it and we save it, but we date it yes. until we would see you again yeah. just to show that they were still kind of contact. Yeah. So we don't have to see you to pick up on your energy. Exactly. It'll just happen. But we do it. It's called automatic writing. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they just kind of come through. So we do it safely and yeah. we just write. And that and because it's the same spirit is trying to connect. Yeah. Sometimes people feel compelled. To talk to us and find in that spirit pushing yes that spirit pushing you to your loved ones on the other side could be pushing you to see us because yes. they have a message they want to give you they see what you're going through and they want to help you they want to offer advice they want to offer hope or faith or whatever it is they want to bring you they want to bring you something they're pretty loud about it sometimes and so maybe you're asking so I just booked a session with Blue Heavens Heck yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yes. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Let the healing begin. <laughs> Woo. So we will more than likely, I will, depending on who you contacted, mm. yeah. we will send you information what to expect. Mm. And it's usually the channeling because yes. we do channeling. Mm. And we bring sometimes cards. Yes. Uh, it depends on the person. Right. We will hear from their guides. Mm. We always go from their guides for, and it's always for their highest outcome. Why yes. is for their high because it, the truth the guides of truth and wisdom mm -hmm. and we always make sure it's for their highest outcome. What is for them and we don't go to all the other little stuff. What is it will help them right yes. now? We don't do fortune telling. No. We don't do any of that kind of stuff. It's really what does God want you to know? What does your loved ones want you to know? How yes. can you be picked up, dusted off and set on the right path after you come to us? Yes. So the, so more likely now you're sitting in front of us. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> We've introduced ourselves as Blue yep. Robins to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So now we would ask you to just, you know, um, now I'm going to start channeling Locaeus. Okay. Or any, let's just say you want to channel any of the other guides we have. Because we can channel them at yeah. instant. And that, but Locaeus is the teacher. He's the one that was... They all can, well, he's the one that will connect and Marcus will connect. Yeah. Loki is more like, now if you want to talk to Loki, he's more of, you have a problem. He's what we call the garbage collector. Yeah. He's like, you know who Chef Gordon Ramsay is. <laughs> he tells you how it is. Yes. But it wakes you up. Yeah. And that's all he will do is wake you up. So be prepared. If you want Loki, he comes out like a fire. And but it's for your own good. But it's, all, it's for your own good. And he just says it as it is. So be prepared to get your, if you have sensitive feelings. Yeah. Yeah. We suggest maybe that's not the route because he will just say right. how it is. Even the Bible says that when God comes back, his presence comes back, he will bring Holy Spirit and fire. And I believe Loki is part of this fire that he talks yes. about. And fire is used to cleanse things, yes, to he, purify oh. things. And that's really what Loki does. He's cleansing hurtful things and he's purifying things and, for you and letting you just acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. That's what we call garbage collector. Yes. And there's a lot of great, like I said, been watching Gordon Ramsay. And he's a great example of this. Yeah. I kind of watched him, but that's what he is. He goes at it and he says it how it is. These people are scared and they're just listening <laughs> like, wow. And they're crying, they're in tears, but at yeah. the end they're hugging him. Yeah. So, you know, so that's what he does. Yeah. He, and he just wakes you up. But there's a lot of people that could use, we know a lot of people, you know, Loki's helped so many people. Yes. But he's the fire. So we can do any of them for any of you. So let's say you're in front of us. Mm -hmm. You've said, we, I would like to talk to Lokeus. Okay. So now I will bring forth Locaeus, mm -hmm. and then we will, so, so you see, yeah. in front. See, it's not scary or so anything. You see. 
No. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> okay. I really thought something's like, so I'm looking around at the bee and like a caterpillar, like, oh no. And I didn't, oh. Sorry, I really wasn't scared. I was dramatic. I was acting. acting. You were acting. <laughs> that Thank was fantastic. You. Bravo. Thank Bravo. You. <laughs> okay, and so at this point, I'm going to bring Loki through. Okay. No. Mm. No. <laughs> Turn to the gator. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because all that acting and that, you know. <laughs> so have you felt a difference in these energies from Locaeus to Loki? Now we'll bring Marcus okay. through until you should feel a vibrational yep. up. Marcus, hold up, Marcus. He's there's nothing around Marcus. <laughs> well, there's a little ant over there, but he's further away. <laughs> For an old deity schedule. <laughs> Even a bug. All right, I'm here. Yes. You're iffy. <laughs> You're iffily here. <laughs> well, you had to remember. I'm not used to these at all. Yeah. You know. Little critter bugs. I I know. So if so, if you do get to me, just. Yes. We probably won't be sitting on the ground though for a reading, so Aww. we would have less critter bugs. Aww. Unless you want critter bugs. No, well, you have other have no we don't for that. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> so if we have a channeled session on the ground, you'll have Locaeus. <laughs> you can't have Marcus. You can't choose him. Yeah, you, you will. Loki would. No, Loki would. You could do Loki. Yeah. So you get two out of three. So we'll, well, we'll, we'll ask Loki. I'll come yeah. back and yeah. see how easy this is. Yeah. And we'll bring Loki back. Yeah. They're all in there. <laughs> Yeah, we're all in there. All, how do they all fit in there? I don't even know. What <laughs> a crap are there? <laughs> crazy. It's all in there. That's what her, that's what her kids will ask. They go, yeah. where are you guys at? Are, where are they at? Yeah, where are, they, where are we at? They're always like, we're in here. Yeah. You know. We're so floating around. Yeah, so if you want a session, yeah. We also on the ground. I'm yeah. good with that. I, I'm very good with that. We try to have fun. We try to. Oh well, that's not my thing. So we bring Lucas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said the fun thing. <laughs> yeah, love. sorry. Yeah, no. so, yeah. So if you're, yeah, if you're having fun, he's not. Dead. We try to have fun, but I we just want people fun, to yes. feel better. We want them to be. But yeah. when they see us, usually they're very here, sad. There's some lots of things on their mind. Very heavy. Very heavy. And by the time they leave they're so light yes. and that and things some of the services we do provide is we do provide besides the channeled sessions so mm -hmm. 30-minute sessions mm -hmm. now we do energy clearing we do and that and we will just do those for no extra charge the first time around no extra charge but if we're contacted again a second time that does take a lot out of the grave right. to do that but they can do energy clearings cut cords but as well they can teach Yes. I am a teacher, so they can both teach. Yes. So we would like to, in the future, have a session where uh, we can, because each deity, we can each teach something that right. can help you out. <clears throat> because really our goal is, when you come and see us, is for you to learn, and we give you the knowledge that you need, and you pack this stuff up, and just, you go at it. Yeah. But we don't leave you abandoned. If you <clears throat> ever need, you can right. contact at any time. They can channel. She can channel, you've seen that, and we can both, so don't worry about that. Yeah. It, it, and so we would like to, so when you're sitting in the session, know that we do offer clear, we do offer energy clearings, cord cutting, mm -hmm. uh, we do, uh, we don't really call it mediumship. We just yeah. call it visiting from the deceased. They come just to say hi, your loved ones, and that, because you need to know how they're doing. Right. So a loved one, you should probably ask, well, when I see my loved one, what do I expect? Hmm. Oh, I'm the angel of passing. <clears throat> So it depends on the form of death. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if a passing was very sudden, they may not have passed. In which case they're gonna have they have a lot of pain and we can pass them. Yes. If they're ready to be passed. If right. not, we will take them and we will eventually we will get them passed Counsel and they're them. ready. Right. So understand that. I get we get like if there was a suicide, people will be scared, well what if they go to hell? Well, I can reassure you they will not go to that. They will go and be comforted. They do not. They're they're more comforted, and they're cocooned. Right. And they'll be taken care of. Yes. And then you have people that just have just passed and are on the other side and they're waiting. Now, we always ask. They they get your gatekeepers. Who is best for you? Let's say, mm -hmm. if you had like some falling out with a deceased, 
they are not going to come through in these sessions because right. it will not be for your highest good to right. see these people. So you, every reading you notice that we do is never going to be a person. Right. It's not going to be for your benefit. Yeah, so if never you're afraid so-and-so is going to come through, God knows you don't want to talk to so-and-so, so he's not coming through. And if they do come through, it means maybe there's some last minute you need to say. And then that's where we bring Loki. Oh, yes. And Loki would take care of that because yeah. Loki is the garbage, as we call not meaning his job is just garbage. Right. That's not. It's so much more to that. Right. But Loki has a way about in the presence. He'll keep it all going. Maybe it's something you need to know or they need to know. Or maybe it's just simply leave me alone. Yeah. Maybe that is what you need to go to get your life going right. in a positive direction. Because <clears throat> sometimes we're so held on by somebody abusing that they have passed. We have no closure. Yeah. And maybe they show up even if we're saying for the highest good. Well, there then God never makes mistakes. Right. So understand it would be for your highest good or their highest good and maybe to just get your peace and scream but then we would bring loki through yeah for that because that's what loki would do so yeah. that's a good example of where we loki we would be using loki yeah and he's very forceful he'll make the situation comforting for you maybe not on the spirit you're not wanting but that's but that's good though right it's still healing it's still healing both of you <laughs> yes because they you know you're on the other side they're still healing too yes and this is a really rough incarnation and you're in different realms and you have different versions of yourself at mm. all times so understand that and every version of yourself is learning a different lesson mm. you know so it's very when you go up here it still takes time to right. adjust to everything so and then too you ask to see a loved one that they don't show up well maybe they've incarnated maybe they're just have moved on yeah. That doesn't mean they didn't want to see you. That just meant they just kind of maybe moved on. Right. And there is uh, different levels. Maybe they're at a level. And I think so. we've had people before that didn't want to be near this frequency. That they were so far up, they didn't want to communicate. They couldn't be near us. But I guess, look, hey, as you can talk to them, I can you talk can bring to them. that energy in. So I they can don't. Bring have well, that's to. why. Well, that's why I. They see me, right. and they they can choose to either come forth right. or not to come forth. And, you know, sometimes they don't come forth. And it's just because they maybe have felt that everything they had to say, they had, they said yeah. already. And then that, and so don't get your feelings hurt. Right. It's, they're not about that. Maybe they're just, everything they had to say to you, they've already said to you. Because we do get a lot of that, I, you know, my grandma and grandpa came through, but my son didn't come through. Well, maybe your son, maybe, or maybe you're just too hurt to see mm. your son right now. There's too much grief yeah. still. And he's waiting for you to not, you always want to carry that grief. I'm not saying, you right. always carry that grief. But there's going to be a divine time for that meeting to happen. Right. And maybe he just doesn't want it with us. Maybe he just wants the privacy yeah. with you. So understand that yeah. as well. Spirit always is very smart and very knowledgeable. So under, we do, but we just want you to know that. So if you do book a session, mm -hmm. you do kind of know what to do right. with spirit. And please, we, and write questions. Yeah. What questions you would like mm -hmm. to ask about? It's very ones. helpful. And it's helpful for you because it's yes. your healing session. Like, yes. You know, what, what can you get out of it? We also have people that come that are new to hearing voices and feeling these energies and they feel scared with all this stuff. Right. And we can help you understand it. You were in control of that stuff. That stuff cannot be in control of you. And that is one thing you're very, I'm glad you mentioned that. So you, you have to say you're brand new, just a quick lesson yes. we can give you right yes. now. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are opening up, you're just now opening up. You're either hearing, you're seeing, you're feeling. It's all important. Yes. Her son feels that just because he can feel, it's not important. All of it's important. Teresa Caputo, she feels. Yes. But she look where she, she helps yeah. so many people. Yeah. Feeling has, so don't ever discredit anything you have. Right. It's all important. It's all a spiritual gift. But also, you have to learn discernment, mm. meaning good from bad. And let's say you have somebody you don't want to see, or you just happen to be, and a spirit just sees the light and they want to communicate, but you have no protective on you, no, you know, all they see is a light. So here's what you do. You just say you feel something attached to you. Well, you can call Archangel Michael or Archangel Metatron. Either angel will cut that cord for you, whichever one you feel. Mm -hmm. And you just cut that cord and ask the spirit to go back to whence you came. You have control. The spirit has no control. You have control. They're not allowed to come at you, bother you. Let's say you're sleeping at night. And one of the first things during spiritual awakening, they come in your sleep to be passed. Yeah. So let's say you want to pass them, but you want to sleep. So maybe before you go to sleep, the first 30 minutes, you ask your gatekeeper um, and your spirit guides as well. Uh, just ask the uh, 
can you ask the spirits to not come in my sleep? And, you know, they come in the first 30 minutes, then I want to sleep, and then the last 30 minutes before I wake up, <clears> then I can pass. Or I don't want to pass them at all while I sleep. I just want to sleep. Yeah. And you can, and once you give this command to your gatekeeper and your archangel that you have chosen, you're good. You right. don't have to do it again. What I do is I, I did a recording in my head to like a telepathic recording that I gave to my spirit guides that says, turn around, you should see your light or you should see a loved one. And if you walk into the light or towards your loved one, you'll get the answers that you're seeking and you're just going to go back to love. And that is what happens now. That's just played. Right. And then if there's a pushback from the spirit, then one of my spirit guides will come in and be like, uh, they need a little bit more work. And sometimes I call another spirit friend that was reluctant to be passed. I call them in. Yes. Hey, can you come and talk to them? They're where you were, but you went into the light. Can you explain your experience to them? And they will do that. They all help one another. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Yes. So that's something I do. If I go to a hotel room and there's a bunch of energy, I go straight to this light thing in my head turn around see a light see a loved one because that's really that's why they're coming to you they don't know why they're coming to you but they have to no feel idea. it and hear it this is what you need to know know that they've passed a lot of times they don't know they're passed and they're going to aggravate the badukas out of you until okay. you help and you got to think on their standpoint they may not even know they're dead right and they're just trying to get attention it's like you know that game of people they, they tap on you and you just oh i'm just you know see how long it takes to drive you crazy yeah <laughs> and, you know and and that is a very so you can use anything like right. this that's a very good one too because usually they turn around and they see a loved one yes it is a good one yeah what i you know what i've said is you know like you're out and about and you just kind of just feel it and, and that's usually what i'll tell people usually if you just tell them because sometimes they don't want to be passed sometimes they'll see the light and you can yes. see the loved one and they still don't want to go right and that so it just it depends on the spirit and you'll know which yeah. thing to do it'll be and you'll know the discernment you'll just ask god will tell you and lead yes. you the right way to do these always things. ask god involve him in all this stuff yes. and he will set your path straight he will and that so we're just giving you this information yeah. and that and do your research as well we're giving yes. you what we use but from what we've been taught and then from what we've learned from spirit and what we've yes. seen that's worked for us and one thing i have done been doing in her house and i've been teaching the kids this and you can use this if you like i being who i am my aspect archangel metatron i put a cross a golden cross back in the middle of the bedroom where she sleeps in each of the kids room that they sleep and i tell it to reflect only light and love and if any spirit comes in there, chooses to be passed, will just go to this particular light of the cross mm. and will go right to the heavens, to the above. So I am the angel of passing. They'll just go if they're ready to go. And I always have put the border around because she lives next to a cemetery. Yeah. You know, if you don't want to be passed, then I give boundaries because you can give them boundaries. Yes. <clears throat> so give them boundaries to, you know, but I have that. And that also clears the room and it keeps protected from anything trying to come in so always just use discernment but that's you're the it. one with the body so you're the one yes. with the free will to make the decisions yes. and we channel we allow that energy yes. nothing can just jump into you no and if you and if you feel that tell it to leave yes and go this is your body yes and this is not this is not your body this is my body and the sign of the cross if that is what you would yes. choose to do there's a, many exorcism prayers you can go on YouTube if, if you feel like you need that extra yeah. those do work I've yeah. had her kids do these holy water if that is your thing candles what whatever makes yeah. you feel protected like right. you say do your research yeah. we're giving you advice based on what being who I am I give them girls advice but I also know everybody has different ways of doing things we yeah. want you to just check out everything we're going to give you some advice of, you use know, your comfort zone use your comfort mm -hmm. zone that's exactly what yeah. these videos are to you know start your research and make your own little plan like each of her children have a plan a protection plan you know that way you're not if so you do feel something on you you know it's sometimes you need somebody a professional to at yeah. this point help you and there's many people out there that will help you absolutely out of this so i do understand that but but we wanted to teach you, but during the, and through a reading and at the very end, you're going to feel lighter. And then we give you tips. And then on, if you go to their website, go to their Facebook page, correction, their <laughs> Facebook page, uh, the Facebook page, they do a many things like this. We're going to have, we're going to have our Exodus and we'll also have like a teaching as yes. well. 
Yeah, we're going to get into all kinds of videos. There's all kinds it's of things to do. It's just taken us a while to build up our library, but we'll get into yes. a lot of these things. It's not just going to be about the Bible. It will be about a lot of different religious texts and things that just apply to us. Spirit energy, all these things. We yes. want to help people understand all these things. So if you'd like to book a reading with us, you can get our information off of the Blue Heavens 3 Facebook page, um, send us a text. We'd love to do a video of a channeled session so we, can, so we can show people what it's like. So if that's you, if you're interested in allowing us to take video of a channeled session with you so we can show our audience what one looks like, we'd really appreciate that and if you're would, up for that. And this is Michelle. And it would be free. It yeah. would be a free reading on the last because unless that, you want to donate something to donate, one of the charities, which that would be right. We, we love that. Yeah, so we that love that. Be, we love that. So, but otherwise, it would be it'd be free. In that. So yeah, please message if you are uh, interested in that. That would be fantastic. Yeah, it would be. And again, we donate a third of our a third of our proceeds proceeds there we go to a charity of your choosing we have a list of charities that means something to us so that is who we use and a third of it goes to them every time Energy you up. have a scheduled appointment with us if you could at least give us like a three hour window if you cancel Maybe that can keep us from attaching to your energy and picking up on it because sometimes that's draining. If you don't show up, we've still attached to you. Right. It's not a big deal, but it does kind of weigh us down a bit that it, you could free us up if you'd let us know ahead of time. We don't have to do that. Yes, because, I mean, we need a disconnect, plus we are preparing. Right. As well. We do have uh, families and schedules we yes. keep as well. So, yeah, if you do, just give us at least three hours. And another side note, I get a lot of texts sometimes from people and I'm very open to answering questions but I do have a family and that is my priority if you send me a bunch of questions maybe just schedule an appointment with us instead I mean this is kind of our job we do want to help people but there is a limit to services you don't just go to a tattooist and ask to have things free you don't go to a Burger King and right. ask for free food you know we're wanting to help you, but we also, if you pay us, we can donate that money to somebody else. You're helping us and you're helping somebody else and you're helping yourself. That is our goal. And we don't mind answering questions here and there. Right. I, mean, I don't mind, I have friends, I do. Right. We wanna help people. We really, that's our main thing is help people. But it also it's very just, on the, some of the other stuff, it's very draining Right. For if us. you're asking us questions, we're connecting to your energy to find these questions. It's draining. Yeah. It, it's not, you're just typing a message. You don't realize what's really going on with us to get those answers for you. Right. They don't just come like droplets from heaven. You know, we have to connect and we have to mingle with his energy. Then we have to clean the energy off afterwards and right. we have to get back to just us. And it's, it's quite draining. So if we don't come back to you for whatever the reason, yeah. that's why we're doing, yeah, we're please trying don't to take it personally. It's just, yeah. it, you're asking a lot out of us. <laughs> yeah. So please don't take it personally. Yeah. If we don't answer messages right away, don't take that please don't because we we love the people who are messaging us on yes. messenger yes. mess text it's we love that but if we're not responding immediately that's why because we're connected to your energy and it's very draining and i'm going through a divorce right now and that's very itself is draining and i've got yeah. three kids and you know they're in their 20s but i still got to keep my attention <laughs> yes you know i want to help as many people as we can we got three wonderful energies that we want to help yeah. and teach. We just need good boundaries. We just and need we're some all boundaries. learning and yes. we're hoping that you can learn with us. And that's what we really want. Yeah. So that's all but yeah, so. Yeah. So we hope that if you're ever interested in a reading, you let us know. We would love to help you. Yes, and this is a little chaos. And oh, I, I love when we get to do readings and meet up yes. and that. So please message, yeah. message one of the girls and we will go from there. So we kind of gave you a preview of what to expect. Yeah. But if anybody out there that would love to have one, just please contact one yeah. of the girls and that, and we will we will book that session for we you. Will. We love you. We love you unconditionally. And so does God. He started this whole love unconditionally thing. So we're just following Did suit. he really? We did. Oh. It was his movement all oh, along. God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's God. crazy, God. God, crazy, God. <laughs> know that we love you, too. We, and everything is freaking beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love the face. <laughs> well, I kind of licked my own cheek. I didn't even know I could. <laughs> it, it happened. So good to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we love you and we hope to see you in our next video.